Hello everyone, my name's Kai. We're gonna take a quick look at how to edit and layer clothing items in the new VROID Studio. So we're over here in the Outfits tab. Um, we're at the tops and let's go to custom items over here. So if we click plus, we can add a custom item. So let's simply, let's just put a coat over a t-shirt for this tutorial. Let's go over to t-shirt and you'll see that we've created a custom item here. In order to edit this custom item, we go over to Edit Texture at the top right, and it will bring us over to the Customization screen once it loads up. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to quickly introduce you guys to the different tools that we can use. So firstly, we have our brush tool here, which allows us to either draw on the model, or it allows us to draw on the canvas here. So depending on which one you feel is easiest, that's what you can do. Up here in the top right, uh, there is the mirror tool. So if you want a more symmetric design, then you can click on that to activate it. It works on both the model as well as the canvas here. This, uh, this icon here allows you to turn on and off the guide if you want to use that. And of course, we can also right click on our layers. We can export to the art program of our choice. We can edit it there and then import it back in again. So if we want to edit the parameters of our clothing items, then we click on this icon here at the top left hand side, and these will bring out the parameters of our clothing items. Um, if we click it again, then that brings us back to our brushes and all that kind of stuff. All right, so how exactly do we stack clothing items? So you'll see at the left hand side here, there's a button which is add a template. And it says that we can stack up to five templates on top of each other. So uh, essentially five clothing items, but for simplicity's sake, let's just go with a coat over our t-shirt. Um, to make it a little bit easier to see, what I'm going to do is color in the t-shirt. Uh, let's turn our mirroring tool on there. Let's increase the brush a little bit. All right, there we go. That's the front and this is the back. So as you can see here, there is a white coat over our t-shirt. Um, it is clipping a little bit, it's a little bit messy, but there are ways to fix this. Um, so you can either use the parameters, which we mentioned before, or we can pretty much just erase the parts which are clipping through. Um, when possible, I suggest using the parameters, um, just because, you know, let's say we want to take off the coat, right? If we erase the sleeves of the t-shirt, then, you know, we don't have any more sleeves. Um, so let's give that a shot. Let's just bring these sleeves down a little bit. Uh, remember in VROID Studio, we can exceed the limits imposed on us. Uh, so we can make it narrower than 100. So let's say 300. Uh, looks a little bit better, still clipping a bit. Uh, let's say, say 500. Um, waist width. So the waist is a little bit too wide there. Once again, leading to clipping. So let's say negative 100. Um, there we go. So we've hidden the waist. Um, the sleeves in the back are still clipping a little bit. So let's go back over to the texture. And of course we can draw directly onto the model. So let's just zoom in a little bit. And let's just kind of erase the parts which are clipping there. A little bit on the sleeve. Uh, just like that. A little bit under the arm there. There we go. Um, whenever we use this method of erasing the textures, be careful not to erase parts that you can see when the model is moving around. So I'm just kind of checking um, under the coat, you know, can we see bits which are invisible? I think it looks okay for now. So the last thing that I would like to talk about is the skin mask here. So up in the top left hand side. So in order to see that, let's just hide our clothing for now. Go over to the skin mask tab. And what the skin mask does is that it hides parts of your skin texture. So, you know, let's say bits of your arm are clipping through the clothing for whatever reason, what you can do is simply erase that part of the skin texture. And hopefully it helps to avoid clipping with the skin and the clothing. Very similar to how we avoided the clipping with the t-shirt and the coat earlier on. So yeah, these are pretty much the basics of editing clothing in VROID Studio. Hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, please do drop them down in the comments below. 
Uh, please also check out my socials, and I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.